Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. I'm starting a new weekly vlog for you guys. I am really trying to do more of these actual week in my life videos instead of doing like days in my life or day in my life. I like editing them better. I think they give a better like cinematic experience. Not really. I'm just a vlogger, but they're just fun to put together and I like to kind of show like a story of my week instead of it just being a couple of days. And so I'm starting Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day when you're watching this. I have been feeling very very motivated for the last couple of weeks so I'm really trying to run with it. I just finished filming a video. I'm trying to let Mondays be my film a sit down video, edit it for Tuesday. It kicks off my week. I feel very productive when I do that and so I've been doing that for the past couple of weeks now. I just finished filming but I need to get a couple more clips so I'm going to do that and then start editing it. I worked out this morning, did a three mile run and then I went ahead and did a mad fit leg workout for like 15 minutes. It was a really good workout though. Felt really good. I've been wearing this outfit for the past very long bit of time. It's like a onesie jumpsuit. And then I'm wearing just a black turtleneck underneath. I'll have both these linked down below. I wear this turtleneck all the time. I wear this outfit all the time because I'm an outfit repeater. And I think it's okay to repeat outfits. I'll also have these little layered necklaces down below. I'm also filming a what I eat in a week video. So I'm just trying to be a lot better at pumping out some videos for you guys and just getting more done. So busy week in terms of work. I'm probably not gonna vlog a lot today just because I'm actually recording a lot of my day for this video. So I don't want to like overlap the clips or whatever. I did just wanna say, hey though. I also wanted to let you guys know I posted a podcast this week that's one that is really close to my heart. I spent a lot of time kind of researching for and really just shared a lot of my heart on it. And it's all about negativity and kind of dealing with negativity received from others, but also negativity within yourself because I just had a very big like come to Jesus moment of sharing why we deal with these things. And so I'll have it linked down below. I always plug my podcast, but I especially just wanted to plug this episode because I think it's one that just really meant a lot to me and one that I was just very intentional about. So I wanted to have that down below. For the rest of the week, I don't have a ton of plans. I'm trying to finish our apartment because I want to get our apartment tour up. And so my mom and I, I think are gonna have like a fun little date together tomorrow and go around and find some pieces. I'm gonna pick up a Facebook Marketplace find. Our nightstands come tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. I've been waiting for those for a while. So that is on the agenda. But for the rest of the week, I really don't know. So whatever happens, happens. But we're gonna make it a good week because I'm feeling really great and thankful that you guys are all here as well. is the next day today it's tuesday it's about 10 a.m right now i woke up a little bit earlier because i wanted to post a video before i headed out today but today as i said i'm going to see my mom i'm going to meet her at i'm going to meet her at my parents house and then we're going to go around to a few different places i probably won't actually vlog with my mom my mom is pretty private and doesn't like being on camera so i'm probably not going to vlog with her but i do want to show you guys the places we go to because there are a few of my favorite places in Dallas to check out in terms of like antiques and finding just cool furniture pieces. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm picking up a blanket ladder, which sounds weird, but I will show you guys whatever I get it. In Garland, which is about an hour away from where my parents live. So we're just gonna have a lot of driving today. I'm probably gonna be with her for most of the day. And then I'm gonna show you guys our nightstands when we get back. I'm so excited. We might have to rearrange some stuff in the bedroom. So we're gonna have a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Furnishing session? I don't know, but I'm hoping that I find some good stuff today. I'm trying to do this all on a budget. This last stuff that I'm getting, I have found some stuff that I liked, but I just don't wanna spend a lot of money at this point. If you guys watch my video on things I don't wanna buy, I touched on how we're trying to save more money this year because we do wanna buy a house the next year. So I'm trying to kind of do all this stuff on a little bit of a budget. So that's why I always use Facebook Marketplace. It's one of my biggest tips if you need to find some cool pieces. And the blanket ladder I got is only like $50, I think, which is a pretty good deal. So whenever I wear this jacket, I frequently get questions about it. So this jacket is from Vans Off The Wall. You can't get it in stores anymore. I got it a long time ago, but sometimes people will have it on Poshmark. So if I find it on Poshmark, I'll I'll link it down below. My little top is from Free People. These are from, I don't know, they're just gold hoops. They're not anything <laughs> exciting. 
And then I just have on my Madewell jeans and my favorite little Blundstone boots. This is the corner that I'm trying to find stuff for. We got some floating shelves and then the blanket ladder is gonna go here. This is actually gonna move. I just film in this corner and I wanna have something in the background that again is pretty minimal. And I think we might actually just put a dog bed for when we get a dog there or a chair, I'm not sure. Still trying to find something for this wall and then I want to find another like neutral rug to go under my desk in the bedroom. So those are the final things. And then maybe if I find some stuff for the wall. Maybe I can see what was Come on. Even though it's still fun to look. Put your head up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta show your tricks. Speak. Roxy, speak. Roxy, speak. 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 Roxy, speak. speak. <laughs> Yay! Every night you yeah. sleep with it. But I sleep with Lolly. Where's Lolly? Lolly. The three little pigs. Oop, beach do it. <laughs> <laughs> the princess and the pea. Oop, beach do it again. <laughs> Apple. Ooh. The bunny. The bunny. <laughs> what about the oats? Oop, beach. <laughs> so guys it is a lot later now it's four o'clock it has been a day i just had a really nice time with my mom i just dropped her back off and headed back home but we went to only one place today i actually went to kiss it goodbye which is a great fine consignment store and they have the best stuff and it's really nice because they gradually mark down their stuff the longer it's there and I found two really great, no, just one really great find for our big wall. I've been looking for a piece for so long and this was absolutely perfect. It was originally $400 and it was $270. So that was such a good deal. I will show you guys when we put it up tonight. I also went and picked up this blanket ladder and this was something that I wanted to hang blankets on. So I'll show you guys that. And then I'm really excited because our floating shelves came in the mail, which is really great. So I wanna get stuff at Home Depot to hang all this stuff. We were supposed to get our nightstands delivered today and I actually had a work call. It was like a Zoom call and during it, I could tell I kept getting calls from this number. So something just wasn't right and I think they couldn't get into our building and they couldn't actually get in. I called Aiden, he said he couldn't find them, he didn't know where they went, and so they just left, which I understand because I wasn't there, but it's okay because I just rescheduled it for Saturday, so they're gonna come then, it's totally okay. But I was obviously very excited about that, but as long as they come this week, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in here and grab some things to hang up stuff, but I'm just pooped, I am so tired. I do not wanna work out tonight, so I might not, I don't know. I'm just feeling very mentally drained, but it was so nice getting to hang out with my mom. I loved getting to see her and I also got to see Charlotte too when I picked her up. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in here. back from a workout i only recorded half of it because someone else came in and i only ever record when i'm alone and that is also why i don't wear a mask whenever i'm filming my clips because my building's policy is if you are alone in the gym you don't have to wear one if people are in there you do I've explained this before, I just get questions, so I wanted to say it again, but someone came in halfway through, so I stopped recording. I got back, I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got. I did just wanna say, I feel like I'm always showing like my workouts and feeling really energetic in my workouts, and tonight's was just not it. I was so low energy, I didn't sleep really great last night and was just running around all day. Driving really drains me for some reason. And so I was just really tired, but I still did it. And I love Sydney Cummings, who I do my workouts from because she said the sign, she was like, not every day you're gonna have the same energy levels, but you need to make the most with what you have. And I was like, you know what? This is what I have today. It ain't much, but we're gonna make do with it. And I just felt like it went really well. I also am wearing this little crew neck I got from my friend, Mikhail Jancy. She has like a little loungewear line and it's really comfy, so I'm just wearing this. Number two, I wanted to show you guys the things we got. So the first thing is right here. It is a blanket ladder, as I said. 
I got it from Facebook Marketplace. Highly recommend if you guys are needing to get furniture. I know I talk about it all the time, but it's great to shop secondhand and it's also just a really good way to save money. You can even find stuff that's basically brand new, stuff that hasn't been used. Like maybe someone changed their mind when they got home and they don't feel like returning it. So they'll sell it on Facebook Marketplace. So you can find great stuff. But this was actually something that the guy built. He was so nice. He was like showing me his info and all the other stuff that he sells. And it's just nice to like support people like that too. So I really like that. And then we got our big wall art piece. I really love it because it's just very neutral. And I've been wanting to find like a framed rug. I really like the look of that. And I think it really ties together the brown in our kitchen when you're like looking out over here. I do want to change our shams on our pillows out here because I think the gray is just too cool toned with all the warm tones that we're going with. And then I also got these West Elm floating shelves in the mail and I really like them, but I was just thinking about it. I was like, it's kind of stupid to get them. I feel like you could totally make floating shelves really easily yourself, but I just went ahead and got those and I think we're also gonna hang them here. So when I film, there's like actually some stuff right here or whatever. There's only a couple more things that I wanna get, but that's pretty much it. And I feel like very content with what we have. I feel like I'll add some stuff down the road, but for now, I just think that this looks really good to do like a tour or whatever. So I'm gonna make some dinner though here soon. I also ate Chick-fil-A today. That was another reason why I felt sluggish in my workout because I love Chick-fil-A, but it made me a little bit tired, so. my patties fell apart completely. So we ordered pizza. And I'm having pizza and Chick-fil-A in a day because sometimes life works like that. Do you ever walk out and get in your car and you're like, did I really park like that? <laughs> the amount of times this happens to me, I'm the worst parker ever. So I just got a workout in. I did a run this morning and did some abs. It felt really good. I slept in a little bit because I just felt like I really needed rest. I was exhausted last night. So now it's 11.40. I am at a really awesome plant shop. It's one of my favorites in Dallas. It's called Rubles. You probably have heard of it. There's so many plants here, but I want to get a couple of plants for the shelves that we put up. And I also just think we need a little bit more life in our apartment. So I'm gonna see if there are any plants here. And then I'm recording a podcast with a one of my viewers at 1 p.m. So I kind of need to go quickly in here. I just wanted to browse because it's not too far of a drive over here. And it's such a beautiful day while I was driving over. I was like, oh my gosh, like the sun is shining. I feel like people are in a really good mood. It's just a really great day. So I love when that happens. out with a little friend I got this little guy that has like a hanging strap but I don't think I'm gonna hang him I am just gonna keep him in its regular little pot right now but it's gonna be really cute on our shelf and I try to find plants that don't need absolute direct sunlight because we do live with trees covering our window so this one seems pretty hard to kill so <laughs> we'll see I just hopped out of the shower but I wanted to do a little update on my hair loss that I've been talking about because I've been getting some questions from some people who just want to know how it's going so I just self tan and took my shower I haven't brushed out my hair yet but I wanted to say that it's been a lot better than it has been in the past. My hair is not falling out as much. I think I'm on the tail end. I started having this in March and so it's been almost a year now and I think that's how long it just took me to kind of like stop. I also don't want to jinx it though so I don't want to say it's done falling out but I definitely don't get as much here in my brush. And when I'm like showering, I just don't feel it coming out as much, which is really good. I also think getting my hair trimmed helped a lot. After I got my hair cut, I really felt like it was not falling out as much. So that's my biggest tip is just to get your hair cut regularly. It helps for one, just getting like a deep wash to get out all the hair that needs to fall out. And then it also just helps keep it fresh. I wanted to say that, but I also wanted to share some of the things I've been using. I personally don't think if you're experiencing telogen effluvium like I am, usually there's a reason why, like a stress reason, you had something traumatic happen, you have a vitamin deficiency, like it could be a lot of different things. And so I don't think products help it. 
However, I have been trying to make my hair just as healthy as possible and using less on it. I still use heat on it, so I'm not gonna act like I don't do that, but just really focusing on scalp health. And so for my shampoo and conditioner, I use these two guys. Again, I don't know if these are really doing anything, but I've been using them. They're from Derma E. It's like a very natural brand, but this is just a thickening shampoo. And then I also have a thickening conditioner and these are for thinning hair. And they have like really natural ingredients. So I've just been using those here lately. I'll have all these things linked down below if you wanna check them out. And I've also been using this. It's the Olapex Hair Perfector. You're supposed to use this for like damaged hair, but I use this once a week. You just put it on your hair, do it for 10 minutes, and then you rinse it out. And I also think that this has been making my hair just feel stronger. And then in my scalp, I use this guy. This is a CBD detox. It's with tea tree and CBD, but it's for your scalp. I've been using this. I just put it on my scalp before I blow dry my hair and really rub it in. And also when I wash my hair, I really try to massage my scalp and get the blood flowing up there. And I think that's helped a lot. So I'll have all those things linked down below. I just wanted to do a little update in here because it has been a lot better. I think not dyeing it too has really improved it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish getting ready. Currently in my closet, I just finished the podcast that I did with my viewer, which is really good. Her podcast is called My Point of View. But now I just started to stress working on finance things. I am so confused with my finances right now. I am so just overwhelmed and so overwhelmed that I haven't eaten anything yet. And I'm just like feeling, oh, I was having such a good day. Now I just feel like I'm so behind on all of my tax stuff. It's just really overwhelming and I'm putting this in because this is my reality right now, but I'm gonna go stop and make lunch because I'm about to go insane. Just a little reality that it's not always all fun and games when you realize you pay taxes on things that you hadn't even been paid for, which is just frustrating. I need to get a little bit more organized, but I'm gonna do that after I eat something. Do you think we should like, little lower? Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we just finished hanging these shelves. I think they look so good. We moved the ladder over in this corner just because I think it looks a little bit more sleek over here. And here are the floating shelves. I got these from West Elm and it was really nice because they actually came with stickers that you could stick on to really measure them and like level them off. So I just put, Salty is Aiden's. He has had this since he was a kid. It was like a gift from his dad. And then up there is just a plant that I got for my birthday. My sister-in-law, Lindsay, got for me. These are just my wedding bouquet flowers that my mom got preserved. And I always get questions on how she did it. She did it at a local flower shop and they just did it and I think it's called epoxy resin. But I think you can still get people to do it online. I think Etsy shops can do it. So that is how she did it. And then I just have a little candle. But I think they turned out really nice. And then another big thing, we went ahead and hung up this piece and I think it looks so good. I really love how it kind of warms up everything. And then we're just gonna change out these pillow shams so they look a little bit more warm toned. We're also thinking that we might remove the glass from this because for one, it's scratched. And two, I think it might look better without the glare since it is like a rug piece, but we're just gonna see what we think and have it up for a little bit, but it really wasn't that bad to hang. It looks really good. Now about to start making some dinner for the rest of the night. I'm probably gonna watch Bridgerton because I'm on like episode four or five, I think. It's taking me a while to watch it, but I think it's because I've been watching it while I cook. So I like to savor it and really make it more of like a treat to do. I haven't really been showing my recipes and linking them because I'm doing my what I eat in a week video. So if you want to see them, they will be in that video. Good morning guys, it's the next day. It is Thursday today. I just ran an errand, wanted me to get my prescription at the drugstore, grabbed that, and I'm so excited because I actually got a PR package from Press Juicery, who sells the best juices, and I love their juices, and we've been really into just like wellness and trying to like incorporate more vitamins and just healthy things into our life as we also ate pizza this week. So, you know, it's all about balance, but they were really sweet, and they gave me a code to go pick up some juices, which I'm so excited about. So I just picked them all up. There's like three bags. 
and they also have some like chlorophyll shots some hydration shots so i might try these and show you guys these when i get home but it's essentially just a lot of their juices so literally a chlorophyll shot so i'm gonna try these when i get home but i went and picked that up because i was really feeling like a juice and i've been trying to trade out my afternoon coffee for juice now and I feel like these are gonna be really good. So for the rest of the day, I actually am just gonna do a lot of computer work. I have a lot of planning. I wanna plan out some other videos that I wanna do. I need to plan out a podcast that I'm gonna record tomorrow. I'm trying to get a new podcast cover made and also change my YouTube banner and just change all like my branding. And I wanna say I have gotten a lot of people who've reached out to me about making one. I actually have someone that I work with already um, her name's Emma. She's a graphic designer. I know her from New York City. She's really, really great. And so she's actually creating it for me. I'm really thankful. I've had a lot of people like send me really nice samples and I'm so thankful, but I just work with her because I really like her and she kind of knows my style and she's just really awesome to work with. And so I'll have her link down below if you need any like branding or graphic design work. She's awesome. I want to work on that. And then later tonight, I think we're actually going to go for a little date night. We haven't done like a proper date in a while and we've been talking about going to the Dallas Museum of Art. So I think we might do that and then grab some dinner somewhere. Just kind of do like an actual Dallas date. I felt like that would be fun. And we just want to get out because we've been at home for a very long time this week and just feel a little cooped up. It's always good within a relationship to switch things up and do things that are different. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try one of the chlorophyll shots. So gross. My mouth. Mm -mm. I tasted like plants. <laughs> Just finished getting ready i want to show you guys what i'm wearing i feel like i have not gotten this dressed up and like done my makeup this much in such a long time so it's definitely fun my turtleneck is just my favorite little black turtleneck from target i wear this all the time it's a really great layering piece and then i'm just wearing this dress which i got from i forgot the name but i got it in a boutique in new york city but i really love it it's one of my favorites it has like these really cute little tie sleeves on it but I just layered it with this tank because it's still a little bit chilly outside. I'm just wearing some kind of sheer tights and then my boots are just these black boots that I got from Nine West. A lot of our stuff is air drying. That's why there's clothes hung up everywhere, but I'm just pairing it with this little leather jacket that I got from Brandy Melville, I believe. And that is the fit. the next day i feel like i'm filming a sit down video because i literally just filmed a sit down video but it is friday today last night our date was so much fun the place we went to eat at was so good i actually forgot the name so i'll have it right here but it was so reasonably priced margaritas were good we got i got the brisket tacos and got the brisket enchiladas and they were amazing and so if you're in the dallas area i'd highly recommend it was really good and i always find we've been trying dallas restaurants and i always like the ones that aren't like trendy that aren't all over like Instagram or any of those things. I always find it's like the random ones that are actually really good. Like we went to the Eataly a little bit ago and personally, I just didn't think it was all that hot. I don't think it was as good as the New York City one or the California one. It just was really, really expensive and the food I didn't feel like was that great. So that's my two cents on that. But today is Friday, like I said, I just filmed a sit down video and now I'm about to go to an appointment. I have an appointment here at 12.45, so I'm gonna leave for that. And then after that, I'm going to record a podcast. I need to finish a video. And then tonight, my family's actually coming over here to hang out, which I'm really excited for. We're gonna make homemade pizza watch a movie, just have a really good time. I'm so excited. I love when my family comes to our apartment because I feel like we put a lot of effort into our apartment, but it just means more when you can share it with other people instead of just being here by yourself all day. So I'm excited to see them. Definitely have a little bit of a busier day, but I just feel a lot more satisfied when I finish my week with having all my to-dos crossed off and it's totally okay if you don't do that every day, but I just feel like this week has been such a solid week and so 
I'm just really thankful. It is about 11.30 and this is the only time that we really get direct sunlight in. And so I moved my plant over here. I moved my little plant over here because this is really the only time that it comes streaming in the light. I don't think you're supposed to do this, but I just want it to not die on me. So I'm hoping this helps soaking in all those sun rays. So I'm in a parking garage right now because I just got to my appointment, but I wanted to put this in here. I have probably the most exciting podcast guest for me personally, who I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be recording an episode with, who is someone that I talk about pretty much in every single, pretty much in every single vlog. I'm so excited. Feel free to comment and guess who you think it is. It's probably so easy, but I'm so excited. It just made my day though. So I'm about to head into here. Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You 